Did you know that only 10% of the population is left-handed? Well, that select group includes geniuses like Aristotle, Mozart, Da Vinci, Marie Curie, Tesla, Bill Gates, and Messi. Coincidence? I think not! Welcome to the world where being right isn't always right. In this video, I'll show you the astonishing advantages of left-handers, backed by science, whether you like it or not. Why are people left-handed? The truth is, we still don't know for sure. It's not necessarily about the direction of handwriting, as left-hand dominance would be prevalent in countries where languages are written from right to left, which isn't the case. So what's the deal with lefties? Historically, it was believed that people who were left-handed were slower and clumsier. However, for years, there's been a popular myth that suggests they are more intelligent than right-handers. Of course, righties might not agree, but they've probably heard the rumor too. It's not surprising that this rumor has spread worldwide given the large number of famous left-handers, such as Albert Einstein, Leonardo da Vinci, Bill Gates, or Barack Obama. But are left-handers actually smarter than right-handers? To answer this, we need to turn to the facts. Nowadays, about one out of every 10 people worldwide is left-handed. Archaeological evidence suggests that this has been the case for over 500,000 years. Around 10% of human remains show differences in arm length and bone density, and ancient tools provide clues about left-handed tool use. The role of genetics. Despite many assuming that hand preference is a choice, it can actually be predicted even before birth based on the fetus's position in the womb. So, if this aspect is innate, does that mean it's genetic? Well, yes and no. Identical twins who share the same genes can have different dominant hands. Surprisingly, the likelihood of being right-handed or left-handed is strongly influenced by the dominant hand of one's parents. If your father is left-handed but your mother is right-handed, you have a 17% chance of being born left-handed, while two right-handed parents will only have a left-handed child in 10% of cases. Hand dominance seems like luck. But genes play a big role. This suggests there's a reason why some people are left-handed, and it's stuck around for a long, long time. Sports and competitive advantages. Lefties shine in activities with opponents, like sports. About half of the best baseball hitters are lefties. Why? It's like a surprise advantage. Lefties are a minority, so opponents, whether left or right-handed, mostly practice against righties. So when they face off, the lefty will be better prepared against the right-handed opponent, while the righty won't be as prepared. I know, I know it sounds like playing dirty, doesn't it? But I swear it's not. Another example is tennis. If you're a left-handed player, you can gain an advantage by serving with your left hand, which can throw off right-handed players. In boxing, similar benefits exist. Boxers aren't used to facing opponents who attack from the left. Left-handed cricket batters also seem to have better outcomes. And of course, we can't forget about Lionel Messi, La Pulga, the ultimate lefty. Great shots, control, and game vision. He always keeps the ball close to his foot. Thanks to that, he's won the World Cup with Argentina and the Ballon d'Or about eight times. It might sound like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. Science backs me up in at least three sports. Baseball, cricket, and table tennis. According to a study published in the journal Biology Letters, being left-handed is a significant advantage when it comes to sports that require quick reactions. The study was conducted by Florian Lofing, a researcher at the University of Oldenburg in Germany. The data he collected suggests that the more stringent the time constraints in a sport, the higher the proportion of left-handed players who excel above others. While between 10% and 13% of the population is left-handed, this ratio varies significantly in certain interactive sports. In some elite sports, for example, the proportion of left-handers is much higher. To understand the reasons behind this difference, Lofing compiled a list of the top 100 players in badminton, squash, tennis, table tennis, cricket, and baseball between 2009 and 2014. These lists divided players into left-handed and right-handed categories. The analysis revealed that over 30% of the top baseball pitchers were left-handed, compared to 13% of left-handers in badminton and 8.7% in squash. Among female athletes, over 19% in table tennis were left-handed, compared to 8% in tennis and badminton and 8.4% in squash. Those numbers are quite large if we remember that only 1 in 10 people is left-handed, if you forgot about that. But if you want another example, look at Nadal, who conveniently is left-handed only for tennis. 
he cleverly takes advantage of the edge that circumstance gives him against mostly right-handed opponents. And again, nope, that's not cheating. However, this combat hypothesis, where an imbalance in the population translates to an advantage for left-handed fighters or athletes, is an example of negative frequency-dependent selection. In golf, where performance isn't opponent-dependent, only 4% of the top players are left-handed, but this speaks more to the phenomenon of tools or instruments. Let me explain this better. Just like young golfers might find it easier to get right-handed clubs, many important tools that shape society were designed for right-handed people. Left-handers struggle more with using these tools and have more accidents, so they might be less successful in a world made for right-handers. That's a setback. Lefties are smarter. Now, if we look at famous names from Aristotle to Leonardo da Vinci and from Jimi Hendrix, Paul McCartney, Marilyn Monroe, and Kurt Cobain, stories about the relationship between their fame and being left-handed often pop up, along with myths about whether left-handers truly live nine years less on average than right-handers, are more creative, or are just different. Are they? To find out, a study looked at over 2,300 right-handed and left-handed students aged 6 to 17 and their math performance as reported by Live Science. While they had no trouble with simpler math, left-handers were significantly better at solving harder problems, like connecting functions with sets of data. But could there really be a connection between hand dominance and mathematical ability? Research conducted in 2017 by the universities of Liverpool, Milan, and Maastricht claimed that those with left-hand dominance have greater mathematical ability than the rest. However, years earlier, Another meta-analysis in 1995 of 43 studies published in the journal Psychobiology found that the bundle of nerve fibers connecting the brain's two hemispheres in left-handers is significantly larger than in right-handers. They concluded that perhaps the stronger connection between hemispheres allows left-handers to have greater spatial abilities, which are linked to mathematics and often conceptualized across space. In the end, the key lies within the brain. To determine if left-handers are smarter, we need to delve into their brains. Today, we know that right-handed individuals primarily use the left hemisphere, but for left-handers, this dominance isn't as clear-cut. It's known that 30% of left-handers prefer the right hemisphere, but the rest don't exhibit clear cerebral dominance, suggesting a more interconnected brain. This might give left-handers greater sensitivity and speed in processing and storing information, as connectivity between both hemispheres is more flexible. In fact, another study conducted at the University of New South Wales with 100 individuals found that left-handers are capable of processing multiple stimuli simultaneously faster than right-handers. Lefties are more creative. From this perspective, it seems that left-handers have a genetic advantage. However, psychologists at the University of Connecticut propose a different theory. They explain that the creativity and brilliance attributed to left-handers don't have a genetic basis but are an adaptive advancement. These individuals are forced to seek creative solutions from a young age to adapt to a world designed for right-handers. In practice, left-handers may be more intelligent and creative simply because they need to train their divergent thinking from a young age due to the challenges posed by the world. That is, a left-handed person activates the right cerebral hemisphere, the creative one, more than the left, which is more analytical. And you do need a bit of ingenuity and creativity to excel in such an abstract field as mathematics. That's why left-handed individuals often have divergent thinking. Divergent thinking allows us to find different solutions to problems, relying on creativity and imagination. I. It is a type of thinking linked to a more open-minded mentality that goes beyond pure logic. Well, another study at the University of Toledo backs up this theory. It suggests that being left-handed doesn't automatically make you smarter or more creative. It all depends on the preference you develop over time. According to these psychologists, people who strongly favor one hand, whether they're left-handed or right-handed, might actually be at a disadvantage compared to those who can use both hands well. However, left-handers often excel more than right-handers in using their non-dominant hand because, in a way, the world forces them towards ambidexterity. This adaptability is another distinctive and competitive quality. Left-handed individuals have greater ease in adapting and coordinating since most objects are built for right-handers, school desks, car gear shifts, and computer mice. Left-handers have no choice but to adapt, so they develop better coordination and train both brain hemispheres, making them more perceptive and smarter. Well, hope you enjoyed and learned something from this look into the world of left-handers. Before you go... Remember to give this video a left thumbs up. Oh, 
And don't forget to leave a comment. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Do you think your dominant hand gives you any advantages? And will you subscribe to Fetched for more investigations?